what do you think of my YSL belt bag? I think it matches you. Don't you think it matches you? Look, winter ready. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a really fun video. It is in collaboration with YouTuber slash Instagrammer, Melissa Saldera, who is based out of Montreal, who does a lot of really cool fashion looks. She is a mom, she is busy. She is always wearing something amazing and always has a really cool handbag with her. So her and I recently bought the same belt bag. It is the mini marsupio bag from YSL and we decided to do a little collaboration video and style this bag five different ways and show you guys how versatile it actually is because when I first bought it the salesperson and I were having a discussion like okay how do you wear this bag and how do you make it go with all of your outfits so Melissa and I have you covered we are going to be talking and styling about this bag today but before I do that I want to go into an entire what is in my bag video also let you guys know that if you're not already following Melissa, make sure that you head over to her channel, check out her video and make sure that you give her a follow on YouTube and on Instagram because she does a lot of really cool handbag reviews. And that's actually how I found her a couple of years ago. She did an entire thing on the Gucci Dionysus bag. And I remember I just bought mine. And when I went back into the Gucci store, I was talking to the salesperson about Melissa and they already knew who she was, which is pretty amazing. They're like, oh yeah, that girl, I watched her video the other day. And I was like, yes, this girl, people know her. So make sure you go give her a follow. Okay, so I'm currently in Halifax and I brought the bag with me. However, I did not bring the tassel that the bag comes with because I wanted more of a streamlined look while I'm here. My style is pretty minimal. It's kind of edgy as well. And I felt like the tassel kind of adds more of a bohemian flair to it, which is really, really cute on its own. But I primarily brought black and white outfits with me on this trip. So I, I felt like the tassels just kind of threw my outfits for a loop. So I ditched the tassel. And I can tell you right now, this bag is stuffed to the brim. I had it on the plane. I had my passport in here. So to answer your questions right away, yes, your passport fits, as does my iPhone Max. No, what is it? My iPhone XS Max fits in here as well. Okay, so in my bag, you'll see there's a lot of random stuff. I've got my trusty Chanel card holder. And this is the reason why I have a card holder instead of a wallet because often I have very tiny bags and you can't fit a wallet into a tiny handbag. I've also got my Chanel Compact. This is a mirror. I included it in my favorites video with Allison Chase. So if you guys haven't watched that, I'll make sure that I link that here. Lancome lipstick. This is from the Ruby collection and I think it's in the shade called Kiss Me Ruby. Glasses, chamois, hand cream, tissue, because I'm sick, ew. And then this is where the lipstick obsession comes in. <laughs> this is sick. I am a sicko with lipsticks. This is the Guerlain G Rouge lipstick, and I love this because it's actually got a little mirror in here. So you can apply your lipstick and you don't have to have a compact with you. This is the Slim Matte Lipstick. It's a sheer lipstick from YSL. It's really cool because it's actually in the form of a square. Clay de Peau Concealer. I seem to have it in every handbag, every time I'm doing a handbag review. And then when I actually need this concealer in real life, I have no idea where it is. So it just goes to show how I'm kind of unorganized with my bags. This is a Chanel lip balm from the Chanel Healthy Glow Collection from Le Beige. And finally, I have a little lip brush here. This one is by Bare Minerals and it's dual ended. So over here, you can kind of feather out your lipstick so you don't have to get a perfect look. I love that. And then this is just like a precise applicator for your lipstick. So that is everything that is in my bag. I do wanna show you something really nice about this bag. This side actually has three card slots. So you can just get rid of the card holder altogether. This side also has a little pocket that you can put other stuff in. So ID or tissue or even your concealer, if you want that to be separate from everything else, your lip brush, you can just have that in a separate pocket. And then the back of the bag is leather and it's that really beautiful tan leather. And there's also another little zipper compartment. And well, I have the tag in here right now but you could just put anything else that you might need in there. And this bag, just so you guys know, the original price is crazy. It's about 1540 Canadian, and I picked it up 
for 680 at the Toronto Premium Outlet. So that is one of the most amazing Black Friday deals that I have ever found. That along with the entire haul that I did during Black Friday at the Outlet Center or at Toronto Premium Outlets. And if you guys want to watch that video, I'll make sure that I link it below. At first, I thought the Sherling fabric would limit it in terms of how many outfits I could actually wear it with or how many colors I could style it with, but it's actually a lot easier than I thought. So winter whites, browns to pick up on the strap, black and white go perfectly as well. Essentially have fun, don't overthink it and just like wear your bag as you would normally and have fun with it because it's fashion and fashion is all about having fun. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the style video and show you guys how I wear this bag. So with this outfit, I wanted to create something that was all about winter white. So I went with this really nice, cozy knit sweater from Zara. I think this one is a blend of wool and mohair and something else. I'll put it down in the description for you guys. But it's got that really tall turtleneck. So if it's really cold out, then at least you feel like you're protected from all the cold wind. I went for these pajama pants because they're pretty tonal and it matches the rest of the outfit really well. These are also from Zara. As you can see, like a really subtle stripe pattern on them. It kind of reminds me of what you would see on bed sheets, but I like that about them. The only thing is that they're quite thin. So if you're wearing these in the winter, then you might have to wear a thermal layer underneath just so that you're not freezing. For the shoes, I decided to add in my contrast and I went for something more casual. These are my Vans platform high top sneakers. And then the coat is also Zara. It's really comfortable. It has these big patch pockets. It's extremely soft. It's got a belt. So if it gets really cold, you can just like tie it up and close it. And on my 5'4 frame, it fits quite long and I really love that. So I feel like it's a very subtle yet dramatic coat for what it is. And I think this one costs $219 Canadian. Little belt bag is Saint Laurent and I love the way it looks with this outfit. It's just very tonal, very winter white, very simple. It's something that I could throw together over the weekend, go grocery shopping or something like that and just be really comfortable as well. This next outfit definitely feels more like me. I have on my acne pansy face beanie and this ivory color is actually from last year. My husband and I decided to walk into the store. He didn't have a birthday present for me because I'm so picky and I always end up buying my own presents, but he saw this color and he's like, yep, that's what I'm getting you for your birthday. That is what I'm wearing my head and automatically I just feel a lot more comfortable with a beanie because I don't know, it just adds, it breaks up an outfit. It doesn't make it so precious. It just, you know, it makes it a little bit more, I don't want to say edgy, but it just adds a little bit of personality to an outfit. So that is why I love it. Now the bag, of course, we know is the YSL Sherling belt bag. I am wearing an acne sweater and why? Mirrors are so difficult to clean, aren't they? So this is, I think, I think the Nolan face acne sweater and I ended up getting this one on Simon's. I think I found it on sale. The suit is actually Zara and it's brown with a little bit of pink stripes as you can see. So it has just the slightest bit of color and the pants are pleated and they're also very high waisted and they're a loose leg which I actually love. And for my sneakers, I am wearing my Vea sneakers. These are the white leather ones. I love these sneakers. I just suggest wearing them with a pair of socks at first. And then once they're worn in, you can go ahead and wear them with like those little tiny socks, you know, the, uh, the short ones that don't show. And after that, it'll be a lot more comfortable. Otherwise, that tongue is really stiff and it digs into your leg at first. So I really like the suit because it pulls out like the browns and stuff like that from the bag and the hat, which is a little bit ivory, pulls it from the euchre kind of shirling color of the bag. But overall, I am supremely comfortable in this outfit. I really like it. I would definitely wear it somewhere. If I was just going to go out to an event or something like that, I would just throw this on.
My next outfit is actually something that I would wear on the weekend while I'm going out with my husband, maybe to brunch or running errands or something like that. So I've got on a gray Balenciaga knit sweater, the same as Zara coat as before. I've got leather pants. These ones are from Akash and I had them, got these a couple of years ago and I still wear them. My boots are Alexander Wang. These ones are called the Kenna boots and I believe that they're pretty much sold out everywhere. If you guys can log on to the Nordstrom website, you can find them there. And I believe that they are on sale right now for about $800. So they have the suede version. They went back up in price. And now because sale season is here, they're reduced to 800. I love that I'm wearing this like warm kind of beige coat and it brings in the colors of the bag. And of course I am wearing my YSL Sherpa bag. This time I decided to go with it over my shoulder because it just kind of has that vibe for me anyways. This outfit is all about the cozy. It's like very edgy because I'm wearing these leather pants and I'm wearing these like very statement combat boots, which I'm obsessed with. And of course the sweater is such a classic and I wore this a lot last year, by the way. So I think I have to start wearing it again now that the weather is a bit colder. I know I said the suit was my favorite, but I think this might actually be my favorite outfit. Over here, I am wearing a blouse from Zara. This is actually the top that goes with the pajama pants that I was wearing in my winter whites look. So I actually ended up buying the set because I thought the pajama top was really cute. I thought the, the pants were really cute and they work well together, but they also work killer as separates. My jacket is falling off. Hold on a second. Okay. There we go. I am wearing a pair of wool trousers. These ones are pleated and they're high-waisted. And if you watched my premium outlet haul, then you'll recognize them because they are the Saint Laurent pair that I scored while I was there. My shoes are the Balenciaga knife mules, but these are, I think they call them the BB mules if I'm wrong. And these are in patent leather. The jacket that I'm wearing is my distressed leather Saint Laurent jacket. I love this one because on the back, you guys are not gonna be able to see. Can I do this? You know what? I'm gonna insert a picture because I cannot show you. I bought this jacket at Toronto Premium Outlet Mall for a steal. Not as much of a steal as the Bolero jacket, but nonetheless, a really phenomenal price. And this is what I'm calling my date night look. For this, I decided to remove the strap and I think it looks really great as a little bag all on its own. I love how the YSL brass kind of ties into my shoe and the color of the Sherpa ties into the color of the bag. So it's kind of like a black and white look, but it's more like an off-white and black look if you will. I always like to do something that's a little bit unexpected. So whether it's a leather jacket with a dressier look, a little bit of texture, something like Sherpa or a patent leather shoe, I always like to have like a fun element and not take fashion too seriously. Well, I thought I was done filming and then I made the mistake of uploading my look onto Instagram and guess who saw it but Melissa. Whoops. <laughs> so let's get into this the very last outfit. I'm wearing my essentials hoodie. I am wearing the matching sweatpant. I'm wearing my Saint Laurent sneakers. These ones are the high tops and I have the low top version because I love them so much. And then I am wearing my long Zara wool coat because it is so easy to pair with everything. And then of course, my little Sherpa bag. Now the Sherpa bag does come with a little tassel, but I felt like this look didn't need the tassel since it's very streamlined and simple. And I don't know why my hair is in my face, hold on. So for this look, I just got rid of the little tassel, which is such a great thing that you can actually do that with this little bag, very versatile. And this kind of it, just really, really simple. Well guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I can tell you right now that I really enjoyed making it because at the end of the day, whenever I pull these kind of looks together, I know that the next time I have somewhere to go, I actually have a bunch of outfits just to kind of pick out from the videos. Well, someone's here to say hello. Hi. <laughs> 
but that's the reason that I like doing these. And I said it in another vlog where I often do these for my blog posts, but I'm only starting to do these on YouTube now. So if you guys want to see more outfit inspiration, stuff like that, definitely head over to my blog, woestyle.com. I will link it down below. I will have it across the screen here and you guys can go back and get some more outfit inspo. What is this little guy doing? He's so curious. I just want to say shout outs and thank you to Melissa who has always been so awesome. I'm really excited to be doing this video with Melissa and make sure that you go check out her video to see how she styled her Saint Laurent belt bag because I cannot wait to see. I'm sure she has a lot of really amazing killer looks. Thank you for watching guys. I hope that my video helped. I hope you got some really cool outfit inspiration and I hope that I gave you guys enough style tips as well. Sometimes I forget to say what is in my head. So um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.